since he's gone away, even now you don't find anyone filling his gap uh, as a singer, as a composer, and as a human being. It's definitely very catchy, and um, it's got. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I tend to re relate a bit of the Kavali kind of touch to his music. So in in that uh, sense, it's got its own essence. It's got its own original feel. So it it does come into a bracket of its own. You see, it's a kind of a tradition to uh, say good words about people who are no more. Uh, so when you really mean them. And when you really mean to play somebody, it uh, most of the times it uh, sounds formal. But as a matter of fact, it was a great privilege meeting that person. Obviously, everybody knows I, I'll be stating the obvious, obvious if I say that uh, he was a great artist, a great composer and a great singer. But uh, I've had the privilege of knowing him personally. and. Uh, he was an equally good person. Well, what I like about Nusrat Ji's music is that the way he has managed to fuse the Western with Indian classical as well as folk. And this, the combination of these three is so melodious that um, it just enthralls you. I also like his lyrics, which are very beautiful though they are in Punjabi sometimes, uh, they're very attractive, uh, very poetic. That's what I like about his music. And this combination is uh, devastating. He was called Khansa by each and everybody, you know? And he deserved that label which he got because of his talent. I could say that he was basically very childlike. He could get hurt on small things, but he was very, very forgiving, very loving. I did a film with him made an album with him, we had long sittings, we were together for hours and days as a matter of fact. Never in my whole association I heard a single word of self-praise or anything that can be uh, by any stretch of imagination uh, be understood as uh, conceit or arrogance. He was, there was something very innocent about that person. He was wise. He was an extremely intelligent person. But there was a simplicity in him. And perhaps he had uh, uh, chosen to have a very simple way of life, simple attitudes. His relationships were not complicated. He would see to it that things don't get complicated around him. His success story is more than apparent and it's obviously because people love his music. And I'm glad I'm going to be featuring in a movie where he's definitely going to be doing all the scores. So I think we know it's our pyar ho gaya. So I'm quite happy about that. He's भारत में खान साहब के कुछ कलीग्स और उनके दोस्तों की तरफ से ये थी उनके बारे में कुछ बातें आपने देखा होगा कि मशहूर गीतकार जावेद अख्तर ने उनके बारे में कितनी ही अच्छी बातें कहीं और कितनी भावभीनी श्रद्धांजलि उन्हें अर्पित की जावेद अख्तर साहब के साथ उनकी जो आखिरी एल्बम्स में से एक रिलीज एल्बम थी वो थी संगम हम लोग जब ये एच का एल्बम बना रहे थे तो बम्बई से थोड़ी दूर पर एक जगह है मड आईलैंड जहाँ पर एक बहुत खूबसूरत सा कॉटेज है एच का वहाँ हम जाके ठहरे वहाँ काम कर रहे थे समंदर के किनारे हैं और तीन चार दिन कोई नहीं आया सिर्फ हम अपने काम में थे बस खाना खा लेते थे फिर बैठ जाते थे काम करते थे समंदर के सामने और मुझे इस तीन चार दिनों की एसोसिएशन में महसूस हुआ कि इतनी देर में इस शख्स के मुँह से न किसी के लिए कोई बुराई निकली है न इसने किसी दूसरे मौजू पर कोई बात की है ये अपनी म्यूज़िक में पूरी तरह खोया हुआ है ये या मेरे शेर सुनता है उस पर रिएक्ट करता है ये इंसान या अपने सुरों पे करता है इसमें इतना इन्वॉल्वमेंट है ये कितनी साधना की बात है कि मुझे ऐसा लगा कि मैंने ये जो इतने किस अजीम फनकार के साथ ये दो तीन दिन गुजारे हैं तो मेरे अंदर से मेरी रूह धुल गई जवेद साहब और मैं मिल के हमने ये एक एल्बम तैयार किया जिसे एच ने हमें कहा कि आप एक हमारे साथ एल्बम बनाए जिस समय मैंने कहा कि मेरे साथ जवेद साहब काम करेंगे क्योंकि एक नया और मुनफरद एल्बम 
تیار کرنے کے لیے یہ میری ایک سوچ تھی کہ میں ہندوستان کے جو بہت مشہور شاعر ہیں ان کے ساتھ کام کروں اس طرح جاوید صاحب کو سلیکٹ کیا گیا اور ان کو میرے ساتھ کام کرنے کا مجھے بھی ان کے ساتھ کام کرنے کا موقع ملا جب ہم فلم میں کام کرتے ہیں تو بہرحال سچویشن کی بائنڈنگ ہوتی ہے کہ یہ فلم ہے اس میں یہ سچویشن ہے اس پہ گانا دینا یہ جو غزلیں نظمیں گیت جو بھی کہیے انہیں یہ کسی فلم کے لیے تو نہیں تھے لہٰذا اس میں ایک کریٹیو فریڈم تھی میرے پاس کہ میں جیسا چاہوں لکھوں یہ کسی بندش کوئی سچویشن کی نہیں تھی پھر میرے سامنے فنکار ایسا کہ جو ٹیون کیسا کرے گا مجھے اندازہ ہے وہ کتنا اچھا گائے گا اندازہ ہے تو ایک جہاں ایک طرف خوشی تھی وہاں ایک طرف دل میں خوف بھی تھا خوف یہ تھا کہ بھائی یہ تو بہت اچھا کریں گے اپنا کام تو ہمارا کام بھی کچھ ٹھیک ہونا چاہیے 